We're going to look at how to add on a number line with numbers up to 10. So we're going to start with addition questions where the numbers are lower than 10. So our first question is 2 add 4. What we're going to do is we're going to start at that first number in our question, 2, and we're going to jump on 4 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the number that we land on is our answer. So 2 add 4 equals 6. I'm going to change the colour so we can see the next one a bit more clearer. So our next question is 3 add 5. So we start on that first number, 3. This time we're jumping on 5 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's the number we've landed on. 3 add 5 equals 8. Let's do our next question, 4 add 5, so start with the number 4, jump on 5 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the number we've landed on is 9, so 4 add 5 equals 9. And the last one, 3 add 6. I would recommend when you're doing this, always use a pencil or a pen to do those jumps yourself. Draw yourself a number line on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, because it really helps if you can jump on and show those jumps. It helps you see your numbers much clearly. So three add six, so we start at number three. This time we're jumping on six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, Six, we land on number nine, so three add six equals nine. This time we're going to look at adding on a number line bridging ten. Now bridging ten is just a very fancy way of saying going over that ten barrier. So let's look at our first question, seven add four. So we're going to start with that first number again, seven. We're going to jump four spaces, one, two, three, four. The number we've landed on is 11. So seven add four equals 11. So we've bridged 10. We've gone over that 10 barrier into the teen numbers. Right, let's look at our next question. Three add eight. We'll start at three. I'm going to jump on eight spaces this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we've landed on 11 again. Three add eight equals 11. Next question, four add nine. Start with number four, jump on nine spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This time we've landed on 13. Four add nine equals 13 does help when you're doing this if you count out loud. Sometimes if you forget to count as you do each jump, you might miss a jump and then you'll end up with the incorrect answer. Last question, six add six. So we'll start at six, jump on six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've landed on 12. I'm going to put our answer over here where the space 6 add 6 equals 12. We're going to continue adding on a number line and this time adding up to 20. So we're starting with those teens numbers. So we start with 12 add 4. Start with 12, jump on 4 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we land on 16. 12 add 4 equals 16. Next question, 15 add 3. Start all the way up there at 15. Count on three spaces. 1, 2, 3. We've landed on 18. 15 add 3 equals 18. What you could try doing you could pause the video and you could try the next couple of questions before I do them. Let's see if our answers match and we get the same answers. I'll continue. Next question, 14 add 5. So start at 14, 
jump on five places. One, two, three, four, five. Nineteen we've landed on just under twenty. So fourteen add five equals nineteen. Last question. Thirteen add six. Find thirteen on the number line. There it is. Jump on six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've landed on 19 again. I'm going to pop that one over here where the space 13 add 6 equals 19. We're going to continue adding on the number line up to 20, but this time we're going to partition the 10 number. Now, partitioning is just a very fancy and grown up word for saying we're splitting up the number. So let's have a look at our first question. We've got 2 add 14. So I'm going to start on 2. But 14, that would be an awful lot of jumps. So over here, I'm going to split up my 14 into a 10 and a 4. So I'm going to jump 10 places. Now I'm going to use that mathematical knowledge I've already got. And I know that 2 add 10 gets me all the way to 12. So I've added my 10 already. Now I've just got those four places to jump. One, two, three, four. And I've landed on 16. So two add 14 equals 16. Let's have another go. So this time we've got five add 13. Let's partition our 13. So it's a 10 and a three. A 10 from our 10s column and a 3 from our 1s column. So I start at 5. It's the first number in my question. And I need to jump on the 10 spaces first. So I'm going to do that one big jump. 5 add 10 gets me all the way to 15. There you go. I've added my 10. Now I've got three more spaces to jump. 1, 2, 3. Which means I've landed on 18. So 5 add 13 equals 18. Next question. 4 add 15. Let's partition our 15 into a 10 and a 5. Now when you're doing this you might find it helpful to write on one side your partitioned number. So you can see really clearly when you do your jumps you need to do a jump of 10 and a jump of 5. So let's have a look. The first number in our question is four. So we circle four and we jump on 15. So I need to add my 10. So four add 10 gets me all the way to 14. There's my 10 I've added. And let's have a look. Oh, I've got five more spaces to jump. One, two, three, four, five. And I land on 19. So 4 add 15 equals 19. Let's have a look at this final one. 3 add 16. So let's partition our 16, which is a 10 and a 6. So I know I've got to start on 3 and jump 10 first of all. So 3 add 10 all the way to 13. There's my 10 I've added on. And I've got to add how many more ones? Six ones. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've landed on 19 again. Three add 16 equals 19. Now this one might take a little bit more practice than the other ones because you're doing that big jump of 10 before you do your ones. This time, we're going to have a look at subtracting on a number line. So taking away, our numbers are going to be getting smaller. We're still going to start with below 10. So when we're subtracting or taking away, we always start with the big number. So our big number in our question is 4. 4 take away 2. Just the same as when I'm adding on a number line, I start with that first number in my question, which is 4. This time, though, I'm counting backwards. So I need to count backwards two spaces. So one, two, and I land on two. So four take away two equals 
two. Can you see I've jumped backwards this time? So have a look at our next question, five take away three. So we start with that larger number there at the beginning of our question. I'm going to jump backwards. So I have to jump back three spaces. One, two, three, and I land on two. So five take away three equals two. Next question, five take away four. So we start with our five. Remember, we're jumping backwards. So this time I've got to jump back four spaces. One, two, three, four. And I've landed on one. Five take away four equals one. And finally, six take away three. So one more go of jumping backwards. So we start on six, that number at the beginning of our question, the larger number. Because remember, when we subtract, our answer must always be smaller than the number we start with. So six take away three. I've got three spaces to jump. One, two, three. And I land on three. Let's write this one over here. Six take away three equals three. So continuing to subtract on a number line to take away, this time we're going to cross that 10 barrier. So we're going to start with 14 take away 7. So we look for 14 on our number line, there it is, 14, and we jump back 7 spaces. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've landed on seven, so 14 take away seven equals seven. Next question, 13 take away four. There's our 13. We need to jump backwards. Remember, we're going backwards because we're taking away. 13 take away four. Let's jump back four spaces. One, two, three, four. I've landed on nine. 13 take away four equals nine. 14, take away 6. Find 14 on your number line. There it is. Going backwards, 6 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've landed on 8. 14, take away 6 equals 8. And finally, 16, take away 7. Here's 16 on our number line. Remember to jump backwards. We need to jump back seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've landed on nine. Sixteen take away seven equals nine. So subtracting on a number line, but with those numbers below 20. So our numbers are getting a little bit bigger. Nineteen take away four. So we go all the way along and find 19 and count back four spaces. One, two, three, four. We've landed on 15. 19 take away four equals 15. Next question, 15 take away three. Find our 15. Jump back just three spaces. One, two, three. And we've landed on 12. 15 take away 3 equals 12. Next question. 14 take away 7. Find your 14 and let's jump, remember, backwards 7 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've landed on 7, so 14 take away 7 equals 7. And our last question. 13 take away 3. So we start at 13. We jump back 3 spaces. 1, 2, 3. We've landed on 10. 13 take away 3 equals 10. We're going to finish by subtracting on the number line with numbers below 20, but we're partitioning the 10. And just as we said when we were doing addition, partitioning is just a very fancy word for splitting up the 10. So our first question, 
16 take away 11. We'll start on 16, that's our big number, but it's the 11 we need to partition. So let's write that over here. We have a 10 and 1. So I'm going to jump backwards. Remember, we're taking away our answer must get smaller. But rather than do 11 jumps, I'm going to jump back 10 first of all. So using that knowledge you've already got, 16 take away 10 takes me all the way down to 6. So I've taken away 10. And now I've just got one more jump to make. Just the one, which means I've landed on 5. So 16 take away 11 equals 5. Let's have another look at that. 15 take away 13. So we start on 15, that larger number in our question, but let's partition the 13. Don't forget, you can always write that at the side. It helps you to see more clearly. So 13, it's a 10 and it's a 3. So we're going to jump back 10 spaces from 15. So that takes me all the way back to 5. So I've taken away my 10 already. Now I've just got to jump back three spaces. One, two, three, and I've landed on two. 15 take away 13 equals two. 19 take away 15. So find the 19 on the number line first. Let's partition the 15. Let's write it over here. So it's a 10 and a 5. So let's jump back those 10 spaces first of all. So 19 jump back 10 spaces takes me all the way to 9. Take away 10 just to remind us. And now I've just got 5 spaces to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've landed on 4. 19 take away 15 equals 4. Very last question. 18 take away 6. So don't forget, we find the 18 on our number line first. We know where our starting point is. And let's partition our 16. So that's a 10 and a 6 this time, because there's one 10 and six ones. So we jump back 10 places from 18, which takes us back to 8. So we take away our 10. Now we've got six more spaces to go back with. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, and I've landed on two. 18 take away 16 equals two.